I'm going to be showing you how to make the seagull walk along glider and the bat paper airplane in this one video. So it's a two in one paper airplane, but usually it's a walk along glider and a paper airplane. So, the reason why I have a paper cutter is because that's, no, like you're going to need a paper cutter or scissors for um, this walk along no, glider. So, you need a piece of cardboard and a paper cutter. So, you're going to get a notebook paper and you're going to fold it a triangle. Okay, so now we're going to get our uh, paper cutter, and from right here, we're going to cut this off. So if you have scissors, you're going to unfold this and cut this line right here. So for uh, paper cutter people, you're going to, so this line right here, you're going to cut where this part is right here. So let's just say I'm going to fold right here. And then I'm gonna open this and put uh, where this line is where it um, cuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and line it up right there so we can cut. So if I put this down, I will push this down. It should cut. All right, so when I just did that, so you should people should be done by now. Oh, uh, whatever, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna fast forward if I'm taking too slow. All right, so once you're done with that, you're going to fold it in half. I'd be fine if you just had increased the fence. All right, unfold it, and then you're gonna fold this point down. I mean, actually, like sheer. All right, and then you're going to fold this up to the center crease. Do you know that? You're going to fold that back down, and then to this point, you're going to bring it to this crease that we just made. Sorry about my bird. Okay. So you should fold it back up. You should have a little uh, thing. It looks just like uh, what I did, but we're not done yet. We're going to fold this in half. We're gonna, I'm gonna, for me, I'm, I'm gonna sharpen all these creases. Once you know that, you're gonna bring this point like this. So I'm gonna zoom in here. Flash. Zoom Are in you? here. So, once you know that, you're gonna fold this down. Like this. And then we're gonna do this on the other side. Okay, so if I zoom out. He doesn't, like, with me. It's all right, you, you should open this. Spread these wings out. And here is your single walk on. But if you so uh, you need to do one more thing. You see this? We're gonna put um we're gonna lift this up a little bit. So it should look like this a little bit. So for a piece of cardboard, you're gonna grab a piece of cardboard, you're gonna put it at like a, a, a an angle like this. And then you're gonna scoop it up gonna, so yeah, at that video I showed you before. You you should be able to fly it because if I just drop it without it, it should fly. Like that. All right. So now I'm going to be showing you how to make the bat paper airplane. So you're not going to need a paper cutter for the bat paper airplane because um it's just literally a paper airplane. So it might it might be confusing to you, you guys. So just uh, pay close attention. So we're gonna grab a piece of binder paper. Then fold it down, hamburger style. Like that like All right, do not unfold it. You're gonna bring it this point down. Like so, you should have two flaps up here. And fold it down. You're gonna go ahead and do some other side. All right, then you're gonna bring this point to up here, so. Yes, yeah, so just flap its wings like that. And then we're gonna um, fold it like this. Let me go um, zoom in. So we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're just gonna bring this up. So go back to right here. I'm gonna turn flash on, and then bring this point. Yes, I am dark skin. If I turn flash off, I'm 
kind of lighter. Okay, so once you're on that, you're going to unfold this. So like this, you're going to go ahead and flip this over and fold this down to this point. Increase. Once you're on that, you should have this. So usually, or sometimes you may have this. You see how it's not fully marked right there? It's kind of ending before it hits right here. So if I fold, if I fold this down, I have this little pointy thing right here. You guys don't want that. That's bad news. You're gonna um, fold it like this. So like this. You do that on the other side. You can look again. You can go ahead and look at it again. Replay if you still understand. All right, I'm gonna zoom out. And we're gonna fold this up and flip it over, flatten these creases out. And then we're gonna see this. You see this little cool line you get here? It's because of the way how I started the binder paper. So you can do that if you want. If you want that cool little line right there, so it's like a skeleton. So uh, you're gonna yeah. Once you're done flattening these out, you're gonna fold it down. All right, now flip it sideways. Then you're gonna fold it in half. So it should look like this. So I wanna show you something. You see this, um, you see this binder paper right here? You see this? So like right here, you're gonna fold it halfway right here. So if I zoom in, halfway right here. So, my bad, yes. My bad. So, I'm just gonna zoom out. I'm just gonna fold it down. So like, um, actually I have a better idea. You see, see this point? When you fold down, it should reach that. So this corner point right here is gonna reach this bottom, this bottom paper. So it should be that much down. We're going to do this on the other side. All right, so I'm sure that you're gonna do that on the other side. Now how to throw it. So, as you can see, or I don't know if you saw in my video, that um so to make it flap so like uh, if you guys try to fly it right now it should but like, if you have it like this it should it, it doesn't flap its wings so to make it flap its wings you're going to keep the wings up like this so try to fly it it flaps so that's it Bye.